sure college can be a stressful place between trying to make good grades, keeping up with the social calendar, but what does all that mean for students' bank accounts and rising debt? College is supposed to be the best years of one's life, but today's college students say those years are truly stressful because of their student debt. I think around 18 a year, so 18 times at least four, if I can be here for like a fifth year. $15,000 probably around here. Yeah. Hopefully a little less. A recent nationwide study found Pennsylvania to be the state with the fifth highest average student debt. Temple University had the highest average debt for all state schools in Pennsylvania, with student debts increasing by almost $10,000 just in the last four years. Temple University professor Dr. Hill attributes this increase to the changing demographics of newly enrolled students. Temple University particularly is a commuter school, it's a working class school. Temple has a tradition of having students who are first generation college students uh, come here and as a result uh, you have a lot of people who have to take loans because their parents simply can't afford to pay for them to go to college. While some students major in more money making fields like law or medicine, Others say their future earning potential has no influence over their major in college, even though they know they will be saddled with debt after they graduate. Yeah, it's, well, I, don't, I haven't picked a major yet, but I've been sort of gearing my class around, like doing something, I'll get a job right out of college, hopefully. As of right now, I'm just kind of willing to take the first job I can get with any form of growth plan, um, even if it's, I mean, $30,000 a year, just something that I'm making some money which is fine with me because I have six months after college before I start paying off my loans. With pressure from students and their families across the country, Congress is evaluating ways to help students manage debt given individual financial constraints. We want to create mechanisms so that people can not only choose the careers they want but also have financial relief when they do. I think the Congress has to be more uh, forgiving um, of these types of loans and they need to create mechanisms again that reward uh, working class people uh, the working poor in particular who are trying to engage in social mobility by sending their children to school. Hills also says that Temple could do a better job preparing students for their financial future during their college years. Your, your very life chances and possibilities and prosperities are, are linked to your credit and your debt. Schools don't do a good job in making that clear. Why? Because of the corporatization aspect again. It's in their best interest for people to keep borrowing money. They just want you to pay them. They don't care if you pay out of pocket. They don't care if you sell lemonade. And they don't care if you get $25,000 in loans a year. They just want you to get paid. Now, whether solutions come from the federal government or are dealt with by the individual school, financial burdens of higher education continue to grow at record levels and follow many for years after they graduate. Live in North Philadelphia, LeBron Milbar, JPRA 151.